hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is karen thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos i really appreciate that and it means a lot to me so guys uh thank you to everyone who uh showed love and uh came to watch my videos came to subscribe to my channel after uh prince odinga shared my video big shout out to you brother because uh that is a really really uh good support so guys uh today i want to talk about uh, a few things dealing with uh, the the freemason freemason uh, allegations in the village of nyabuhanze you know and uh, a lot of things mostly the visitors the international visitors or the local visitors that come there and uh, they cause havoc in the village you know when people were uh, when uh, there was no youtube there was no fight now that youtube is there and people are making progress there is uh, like a lot of fights there are a lot of fights which is not a good thing so guys uh, in a recent video i saw uh, this uh, lady from the uk by the name joyce's diary so joyce's diary is this one lady that came to the village so excited and uh, she was so happy that she finally met the person that she always watches through youtube you know the person that inspires her a lot and that was marwa so she came to the village with the intention to meet these people and uh she came saying that she doesn't want to open like she she doesn't that have that intention to open a youtube channel so what really brought her to nyabuhanze if it's not about opening a youtube channel that maybe can change your life for good you know and uh or uh having a channel where you can have people to interact with what was the main reason that this lady actually visited the village okay uh for the first time she was more close to uh because she was hosted by congrats mom she was more close to congrats mom david junior you know because they were always around uh around her and then after some time she had a chance to meet uh the one and only marwa because that is the person that everyone would travel the world just to meet them and uh, it was not actually like um, something bad you know because everyone travels so far to just get what they want you know or to experience life in a different way because they have been watching this guy show the village life you know the way their village life is so cool you know and uh, these people from abroad they really want to experience the same village life that's why we still have uh, people who came and uh, they have never left they came from abroad and they've never left the village why because they loved the ambience and everything so according to joyce's joyce's has uh, left the village and after leaving the village she went quiet for a short while and then she started pulling uh, stunts you know she started putting up uh, dramas all in the name of uh, exposing one two three people in the village exposing what happened uh our experience you know telling our experience in the in nyabuhanze village and people were so interested because they want to really know how this uh person was treated in that village the way uh she lived and the way she experienced life with people most especially marwa because that is the icon of everything in the village so Joyce's said that uh, some people were trying to take advantage of her in the village. The first person she, that she exposed was Sejo Media. The one and only Sejo never lies. He was the first person to be exposed by this uh this uh UK lady because she said that uh, Sejo was uh, trying to get close to her in a way that is not 
pleasing, you know, in a way that she didn't like it. Like she was forcing her, himself into Joyce's. That is what she was telling people all over the streets of YouTube. And most of us, we were so dumb to believe her. And we even took a, a side over Sejo's. Because she's a woman and uh, we supported her somehow. Not knowing that this one Sejo who, is now, uh, who has now declared himself as a lazy gang is one bad guy as well. All these people have problems. They have issues. There's no one who is on the right. There's no one who is on the wrong. They have shenanigans going on. Okay, for Joyce's, she always surfaces on these streets of YouTube once in a while like a witch. Do you know how witches do? They go silent and then they come and attack you when you think that it's all well. They go silent for a while and then they come out with stories. They come out with dark stories that you would wonder like, where did this come from? Why has she been keeping quiet about all this? She makes up stories. She makes up lies. Just for some few trending videos. And then she goes off for like two months. She comes again with negative videos. Instead of trying to put out content that inspires people, most especially uh, like us in Africa, we want to see what is going on in the UK. Most of the people want to go to the UK. They want to travel to the UK. They don't know the cost of living there. So instead of her doing such videos from the UK, she, all she does is join the lazy gang. And one thing I believe is that these people are paid. They are handsomely paid to drag Marwa. Look at the uh, uh, this uh, lady. A good example is uh, Mrs. Strongman. She has come out as a negative reactor proclaiming herself as a negative reactor made by Marwa. Just because Marwa said that she, he fed them when they were there. He provided for them as, their, as, as a one family. And that is what Marwa always does. We always see Marwa doing the best just to get those people to eat and, uh, you know, have a place to sleep. And now... This pains them because they wanted more than that. They wanted to get into Marwa's pockets. When they came in, they came in begging Marwa to give them just a job, you know, just a volunteering job to work as volunteers. Now they will come out and say Marwa did not pay us. We had an agreement of uh, this amount of money, but Marwa did not pay us. Why are they doing so? Because they came in with greed. Greed will finish all these people. Most of these people who have turned against Marwa just to go to the lazy gang, they are being sponsored. Their, their amount of money, they get amounts of money, a lot of money, just to drag Marwa. That's why they are super dedicated to it. They are very dedicated just to make sure Marwa is crawling down there, is making zero progress. But who is God? No one will ever dim Marwa's light. You know? Whether you come in with your witchcraft or whatever intentions, it will never go well. It will never, it will never. Because this guy has blessings from thousands of people. Even the same people who are dragging Marwa, they are the same people that when Marwa gave them an opportunity to work with, uh, to work with them, they were so, you know, so thankful. They were so happy telling Marwa, may God bless you, you know, may you never lack and all those 
good uh, messages, inspiring messages to Marwa. And you think that the same person that you are, that got blessings from thousands of people will be dragged by just a few haters? That thing will never happen at all. Not at all. So, Joyce's. Joyce's. I have been uh, analyzing her videos and I realized that she came to the village to look for love. She is a single mom. Maybe she had had issues in the past and she wants to move on. She wants a partner. In a recent video, she said that uh, she's looking for someone older, someone she can respect, not uh, the young, young boys. That she, uh, that she claims that they were forcing themselves to Joyce's. But thank God to Uncle Mo for telling the other side of the story that we never knew. We have heard before that uh, Joyce's was always this lady who wanted to enjoy life in the village, in Yabuhanze, you know, and have fun and all that. She's this someone who uh, drinks uh take some hard drinks once in a while or i don't know i'm not so sure how much she takes it but the worst part is that she went ahead all the way from the uk you know a very respectful woman all the way from the uk came to Nyamuhanza village went ahead and uh started looking for local brews that we call changa here just to have fun, you know, just to take that and, you know, and feel that uh, what feels to be in the village. It's so embarrassing that such a respectful lady comes all the way just to, uh, to start drinking the local brews. With all the knowledge that she has about those things. And... Uncle Mo said that this lady has been blaming Uncle Mo for uh for what what do I how do I call this for uh telling another man that he shouldn't fall in love with this lady, you know. So Uncle Mo said that there is this uh one man that Joyce is blaming that he was forcing himself uh, into her, you know, after they had some drinks and all that. So Uncle Mo said that this Joyce was a friend to the man. They were chilling together. They were having the local brews together. I think Joyce thought that she found love. But uh, little did she know that this person did not actually love her. Love her. This person saw the woman that she is and chose peace, you know. And now she's bitter about everything. She's bitter with Uncle Mo. She's bitter with the guy just because she didn't find love in the village. She's bitter with Marwa. Everyone, congrats mom, even Paris. All those people. Now, what she does she uh, puts up uh, fake stories every single day. She makes up stories just to make these people look bad. To make these people look like uh, they are on the wrong. They are always on the wrong. That is what she does. She would come out, like now she has some videos uh, from this month. She might disappear for another two months. I don't think she came to the village for YouTubing because, okay, maybe she came for YouTubing, but it didn't go well with her. It didn't go so well with her because she was not so dedicated. With YouTube, if you don't work for it, it will never pay off. So because YouTube never gave her anything back, 
she never uh, found love. Now, all the pain that she got from those disappointments, she's transferring it to these people, to the likes of Marwa. And the way she was so happy when she met Marwa, hugging Marwa all over, you know, and telling him, thank you for allowing me to come and all that and all that. And just because she brought some cement and she feels like uh, she paid Marwa for the collab. Some people don't know what appreciation is. That is not a payment for uh, to do collab. Like I'm paying you so that you can collab. No, it's just appreciating Marwa. It was a form of appreciation. Why would you sit and say that you paid them off? You even bought some, you know, some food because you are not used to gali and all that. So you supported them with uh, some few foods and all. What is that? If you are in your own house and you had visitors and someone offers to support, would you tell them no? And maybe they're not comfortable with the type of food that you eat. So this lady is just transferring all the bitterness towards people. All she needs to do is sit down, think about her life, think about her kids, and focus on herself. Don't be bitter about innocent people. Surely, what does Uncle Mo have to do with all that? Uncle Mo embraces ev everyone. I see. I saw uh, Michele calling Uncle Mo a slave. Just because Uncle Mo wants peace with his family members and he chose peace, he chose togetherness, these people don't want that. They call Uncle Mo a slave because he offers to he accepts to work together with his family members. Why are people so bitter about this family? Like, what did this family take from you? You behave like the family took a life from, uh, took a life of your loved one. Because this bitterness is too much. Even if you are being paid, you must have limits. Don't spread your bitterness to someone that might call, might not go well with them. So guys, uh, there's this uh, story also of uh, the, 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 the Freemasonry allegations, you know, and all those Illuminati and that and that. So in the village, Nyabuhanze, most people, uh, most YouTubers are saying that they are being, uh, they are told that, uh, they're actually dealing with the Illuminati people or Freemason people. Why? Because they get support from YouTubers, the subscribers that support them, they feel like that is Illuminati. That's why we say knowledge is much, much important. They say that uh, the likes of Getiriba, Getiriba lost his uh, sister, I don't know, sister's kid, and then his uh, father. So they are saying that Gitiriba sacrificed his uh, family members for wealth. Can you imagine that? That these people who are always coming to the village, the visitors, the international visitors, are the ones initiating Illuminati in the village. To add on it, the same people that support them, those people who have never even visited them, they have never met, that just send donations to them, that they're Illuminati. And they are, that they are taking their family members one by one. You know, when we say that uh, knowledge is much, much important, then this is a good example. example. Okay. With uh, Gitiriba, let's say with the, the dad, the dad, the dad was quite old and uh, somehow sickly. So there was no point of someone saying that this guy was 
I was sacrificed, you know. Some things are just too much. Some allegations are just too much. People need to be educated. I think most of the villagers, they need to be educated so that they can let their kids do this YouTube thing, get a living out of it. Because right now in Kenya or in most African villages, life is really hard. There are no jobs. You go for interviews from this door to that. There's no job. So when someone gets a small hassle like this one, YouTubing, then it's something positive. It's something that can transform the village. So guys, uh, there is no Illuminati in that village. There's no Freemason. For Marwa, I saw uh, someone saying that he sold his soul just for the fame and the, you know, the big YouTube progress. Marwa has been working hard for years. It's about how many years? Seven years in YouTube. Doesn't he deserve what he got? He has worked for it. Let him earn from it. That is his own sweat. It was not like a a daylight uh, rich, riches. He didn't get it in a day. He didn't get it in a, in a week. It took years. The firm took years. Now he's an international, international uh, celebrity. That's why we keep supporting him because he supports people every single day. He has that heart to, uh, to help those people in need. A lot of kids have gone to school because of him. And people have uh, built houses because of him. If you list the number of uh, YouTubers doing construction in that village, there are a lot of them. The, the, uh, the likes of Mama and family, they were the first ones, among the first ones to benefit. They got their home, a beautiful home, from a madhouse to a, a, a brick house. Just done in a week. And now the same people will come back stabbing Marwa. Just for the little cash that they have been paid. The little, little cash. The likes of Mrs. Strongman opening her mouth so wide not thinking about what Marwa sacrificed for them. Marwa helped them. Now they have a channel. They can rely on the channel. If they never met Marwa, there was no channel. There would be no channel. People should learn to be grateful. To just say thank you, you know. However, how little uh, you got, just learn to appreciate it. And it will go a long way, not coming and backstabbing, coming and saying fake stories about everyone. Just because you are bitter from inside, you didn't get what you wanted, you know. It's really bad. It's a bad thing. So guys, uh, I'll end the video there. But kindly join my membership. I have uh, different packs there. You can check. You can. They are affordable, very affordable. You can check whatever you can afford and then uh, you join my membership. Be the first one. Kindly be the first one and I really appreciate that. Be the first one to be a member to my channel and you can also support the channel in whatever way you can. Give the video a like, subscribe, watch the video to the end and God bless you.